out. You probably see people who look at you funny and wonder whether they have some of these disorders. In reality, disorders are not as rare as we think. According to Psychology Today, psychological disorder is a psychological dysfunction in an individual that is associated with distress or impairment and a reaction that is not culturally expected. They also stated that one in four US adults are diagnosable with a psychological disorder. There are many psychological disorders, but many of them are rare. In today's video, I will share 10 of the rare ones I'm sure you didn't know. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Cortard Syndrome Cortard's delusion, also known as walking corpse syndrome or Cortard syndrome, is a rare mental disorder in which the affected person holds the delusional belief that they are dead, do not exist. Cortard syndrome is extremely rare. According to WebMD, Cortard syndrome is rare, with about 200 known cases worldwide. People who have this disorder usually display extreme symptoms. However, the good news is that it can be treated. Some of them hear voices telling them they are dead. They may starve because they think it's pointless to eat when one is dead. It is actually a rather bizarre type of disorder. It is not something you want to witness. The syndrome occurs as a result of dementia, Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and stroke. 2. Fregoli Delusion Syndrome the Fregoli Delusion Syndrome is a type of delusional misidentification syndrome, DMS. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, Fregoli Syndrome is a disorder in which a person holds a delusional belief that different people are, in fact, a single person who changes his or her appearances or is in disguise. The challenge with this syndrome is that it doesn't have any known effective treatment yet. Some people who have this syndrome can stalk innocent people because they think they are other people it can be worse if they are romantically involved with the person who the innocent party looks like. They may try to initiate conversations in that line and it will not go well. Some of them are actually hospitalized for being a threat to others in society. No known thing can make the person who has this syndrome to stop having it. The assumptions that someone looks like another can stay there for years. Such people usually end up in the mental ward. This patient's problems concern everyone because of their extensive and continual involvement with the hospitals and mental health system. Day 2 deserves some peace. 3. The Cannibal Disease This is another psychological disorder. This type of disorder makes people behave like cannibals. According to the National Library of Medicine, in ancient times, cannibalism was deemed acceptable for reasons of survival when faced with the extreme need for religious or magic reasons. In today's society, these cases are extremely rare and are generally associated with severe mental illness. Mental illness have different manifestations. Cannibalism is one of them. People who have a rare form of schizophrenia. Generally, people with schizophrenia, their ability to think, feel and behave clearly are all affected. Sometimes it may result in odd symptoms such as cannibalism. It is actually pretty serious and anyone that displays such symptoms can be a danger to others. Ensure to inform the authorities promptly. 4. Abulomania or pathological indecision. This is a rather odd syndrome to have. People with this disorder will wonder at what to do for far longer periods than normal people. Have you ever, for example, gone to work without pants because you're worried about which of the pants to wear? According to Exploring Your Mind, being indecisive when having to choose something is normal. However, when it starts affecting your daily life, it can become problematic. Abulomania is a mental illness, not just a self-esteem or insecurity issue. It makes it impossible for you to live your life as it keeps you from making decisions. You may no longer feel capable of choosing, up to the point where choosing what to have for dessert feels like an impossible feat. This pathological level of indecision then messes with all of your relationships. Imagine not knowing whether or not to go for work or even to eat. Research has not been conclusive on what causes this disorder. However, some research shows that a possible cause for abulomania might lie in the brain's prefrontal cortex and in how one is raised. It is strongly advised that as a parent, you should believe in your children. 5. Stendhal Syndrome Stendhal Syndrome is a condition characterized by the confluence of different symptoms, both physical and mental, when in the presence of a beautiful piece of art. Odd, right? You're not alone. Some people are just amazed beyond normal when they look upon art that is literally life-changing. Some artworks that have elicited this type of behavior from people include an Italian artist Michelangelo's David sculpture in Florence. Some people who have seen it have been known to exhibit some symptoms not consistent with just amazement and appreciation. The renowned French writer Marie-Henri Bell, better known as Stendhal, described an experience in Florence 
that embodied the symptoms that this disorder later came to be associated with. As I emerged from the center curves, I had palpitations, what they call an attack of nerves in Berlin. The life went out of me, and I walked in fear of falling. This disorder is characterized by anxiety and a fair amount of stress. You, of course, can't be told not to look upon great art simply because they make you sick. You should at least get some rest every day and breathe. 6. Necrophilia Necrophilia is a pathological fascination with dead bodies, which often takes the form of a desire to engage with them in sexual activities, such as intercourse. Sounds disgusting, right? You would be surprised what some people are doing right now. It is also pretty rare. According to Scientist Direct, although the media may give the illusion of a more common prevalence of violent and unusual crimes, necrophilia is even rarer than sexual homicide. This may be because it is a disorder whose symptoms are carried out in secrecy. It is, however, usually associated with sexual homicide. People who have this disorder enjoy sexual pleasure without consent. It is actually a very bizarre way of life. How it is caused, just like a bulimia syndrome, is not clear. However, it has been shown that heavy intake of alcohol can reduce behaviors quite similar to this. It would appear that even if a person had the tendency, they wouldn't even know, to avoid it completely, one has to abstain from drinking alcohol often and deal with any resentment one may have with their parents to not have underlying psychological challenges to be exploited by circumstance. 7. Exploding Head Syndrome How exactly does one's head explode? Exploding Head Syndrome is a parasomnia. A parasomnia involves undesired events that come along with sleep. Exploding head consists of a loud noise that you suddenly imagine just before you fall asleep. Do you ever feel this before you sleep? If your answer is no, Thank God, such things can actually be a bother. A flash of light can come along with sound. The exploding head syndrome may occur when you are tired and under a lot of stress. It is so rare that some people have just one such event in a lifetime. According to medical news today, here are some symptoms of exploding head syndrome. Headache, sweating, fearfulness, agitation and anxiety, difficulty of falling asleep or staying asleep, daytime fatigue, and mild memory impairment. According to WebMD, Experts don't know how many people have exploding head syndrome. Women are more likely to have it than men. People older than 50 are more likely to have it. In the end, you never really know whether you have it or not. But if you do notice the symptom, notify your doctor promptly. 8. Brain Fag Syndrome Brain Fag Syndrome is a form of psychological distress first identified in Nigerian students in the 1960s but reported more generally in the African diaspora. It is a brain-related disorder that can cause you to avoid intellectually engaging activities. It consists of a variety of cognitive disturbances such as concentration difficulties and poor retention of study material and sensory disturbances such as heat sensations or dimming of vision, all of which occur during periods of intense intellectual activity. This is actually bad news. It is almost as though the disorder makes you unable to learn. 9. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome AIWS, describes a set of symptoms with alteration of body image. An alteration of visual perception is found in a way that the size of the body parts or sizes of external objects are perceived incorrectly. The most common perceptions are at night. It is quite similar to Alice's experience in Wonderland. Little wonder it is called the Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. Its causes include migraine, psychoactive drugs, and temporal lobe epilepsy. It can be treated with migraine prophylaxis and migraine diet. The patient getting enough rest can actually lead to less manifestation of the symptoms. 10. Diogenes Syndrome According to Healthline, Diogenes Syndrome is a behavioral disorder that affects older adults. It occurs in both men and women. The main symptoms are excessive hoarding, dirty homes, and poor personal hygiene. People who have this disorder may withdraw from society. It is something that can be easily shaken off they often leave alone and are unaware that anything is wrong with the condition of their home and lack of self-care. Illness associated with this disorder includes schizophrenia, obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, depression, dementia, and addiction, especially to alcohol.